Hey guys, this video is about old school wiring and taping corsages, specifically a wrist corsage. I have been seeing a lot of floral chatter that the Oasis glue um, is turning into powder for whatever reason and not too many people know how to wire and tape boutonnieres and corsages. I did just make a, um, a video about boutonnieres and this one's about corsages. So this is my wrist corsage. It's very old school on a bracelet with a clip. Done. You could wear it that way or you could wear it this way. It's you could still move your hand around. It's very small. It doesn't take up your whole arm. And it's very, very pretty. These bracelets are very comfortable. And you could actually use it as a bracelet afterwards. So, this is what we're going to make today. Okay. So, I clipped. I'm doing from beginning to end. So, you could see how quick you could actually do these. Here's your spray rose. We're gonna take off all the little yucky packing petals, wire. You're gonna put it in that, okay? The top of the rose, you're only gonna put it a little bit. If you do it this way, your stem is gonna start, when you add the tape, your stems are gonna start to get thick and that's not what we want. We want everything to stay light and airy, lightweight, and not too thick. So we're only going to make it almost like an extended hairpin. And then your tape. This is Flora tape. This sticks to itself. It's waterproof, but it also sticks to itself by the heat of your hands, basically. And it stretches. Ready? Roomp. So when I am taping, I'm actually pulling See, look at how it's stuck to me, right? So I'm actually pulling it so it sticks to itself. So in slow motion, what I do is I wrap it and grab it. I'm pinching it with this hand, okay? I'm going to make it very exaggerated. I'm pulling and twisting. I'm pulling and twisting. I'm also going down on a 45 degree angle. If we're staying straight, it's just going to wrap around the same spot. But if we do this 45 degree angle, that's how we get it all the way down the stem. So if you're charging over $25 an hour as a freelancer, you should be able to do this in this amount of time. That's how I was raised. <laughs> No, that's not how I was raised. That's how I was raised in the floral industry. Everything is very quick. So here, I'm going in with my wire, extended hairpin. It's coming down. You can see how short my stem, rose stem is cut. These are spray roses, by the way. Um, here's my tape. I'm going to wrap it around. I'm pulling and twisting, pulling, twisting, pulling, twisting, pulling, twisting, pulling, twisting. You don't have to go down all the way because you're going to cut that wire off. Okay, this is what I want to show you. Okay, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. And guess what I did? I actually broke it. But guess what? It's still not going anywhere. That's what, oh, yeah, well, I did that. Um, but that's what wiring taping will do. If it gets bent or squished or crushed, it could still break, but it's not going anywhere. All right, so wire, hairpin. I had to sacrifice that little rose. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four. I always do five roses. I might only need three. I might only need four. I might need all five. It depends how big they are. If one likes it on the left side, one likes it on the right side. You know how these roses can be finicky and they have their own little sets of personalities. All right, so now that I have 
my roses all wired in tape, we have greenery. So if greenery stems are as thin as this, you don't need to wire them and they won't break. But if you're using a greenery that has a thick stem, let's say variegated pit, right? has a thick stem. Um, I would wire that. Again, the key to this is to keep the stem very, very thin so everything stays manageable for you. Um, the other thing is if it's going to break, like baby's breath, I never really use that. Um, but for prom work, you might use baby's breath. I would wire that because that could break. You know how that goes. So basically how I'm going to construct my corsage is a piece of green and rose. All five roses are going to have a piece of green. And then you're going to put them together. So if you're a beginner, what you can do is go ahead and attach a piece of green to every rose with tape. So you're going to tape it on. And then you're going to construct. Okay. But this is how you save time. You construct it in your hand and you layer it. So it's green and rose. Go to the right side. Green and rose. You're going to make like a triangle or a zigzag. Okay. Then go to the left side. Green and rose. So now I have my little triangle. I have a zigzag. They're all together in my little my little fingers see i have them all together and i'm going to tape all of them together this is tricky this is hard to learn but this is what gets you the paid the big bucks okay so now i have them together but i'm going to cut this off because i don't want this big huge stem if you look at the you know i'm going to just take this apart so this isn't going to look nice anymore but this is my stem i mean it's very very thin all, all these comes down to this little stem. So what I'm going to do right now is keep one main wire and I'm going to cut off everything else. And it goes tape all the way down to that one main wire. Okay. So now if you were doing a pin on corsage, there you go. You're already done. Just add your bow and you're done. I'm going to tell you, if you're doing a pin on, usually I do three spray roses, add the bow. But I do one little trick to get it to sit nice. You'll see that at the end of my wrist corsage. Okay, so we're going to keep going. Whether you're doing it one rose at a time or you're adding them all together. So this was the last rose that I placed. So now I'm going to go back to the right, zigzag down. And then place my green on the left. Yep, so I think I'm going to end there. And I'm going to tape. I tape a little bit. And then I cut all this off. So now I'm just going to leave two wires because I do want there to be some sturdiness now. But if I left all the wires, there could be like 10 wires, and that's way too thick for a corsage. All right, so there we are. But now you can see it's got this arching to it, this arching. This is my little trick. Now, this is what you, this is, I also do this with boutonnieres to lay them flat so they don't wobble, and they'll lay flat here. And I also do it with, um, pin on corsages you can't do this if you're not wiring and taping but because you're wiring and taping you can manipulate the flowers that's why everybody should know how to wire and tape because look at you can manipulate the flowers I mean look at what I'm doing here right this is the start of a floral crown people this is how you wire and tape for a floral crown or for a full bracelet I, when I got married, I did, I got married on the beach and I did bracelets on my ankles. This was how I did it and how comfortable. Nothing is glued, nothing is sticking, nothing's going to ever fall apart. So you really need to know how to wire and tape. Okay, so enough of my little soapbox. So this is what I'm going to do. I take my flat 
end of my wire cutter. And see how my, I have a little, it's above, look it, look it, I'm pushing it down, pushing it down flat. Not a lot of pressure, but now, look it, flat. Now it's going to sit flat, 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 flat. It's not going to roll. It's not going to arch. Flat. Okay. I'm going to do my bow. Make my bow. If you don't know how to do bows, come on, people. Get it together. So I do three loops. One. Two. Um, this isn't a tutorial on bows, so... I am not going to stop and show you how to make a bow. If you really want me to, I will. Just DM me. But here's my little bow. Okay. That's how quick it should be if you're charging a lot. I use the old school bracelet with the clip. So. I get my clips. This is where my flowers are going to sit. Okay, but you can't go ahead and do this, right? Because then look at where you put your bracelet. Look at where those flowers are going to be. So you have to know where this, where you, you want this to be right here. You don't want it to be um, cumbersome. You want them to be able to move their hand and their wrist. And you don't want it all the way up here. So I usually catch the top of that first row, rose. It's a little clamp. You're just gonna clamp it around. Oh, I'm having trouble. I never have trouble. You're gonna clamp it around. So literally, I'm gonna show you, right? Again, you couldn't do this if it wasn't why. I'm clamping it around that first rose. So I clamp it softly, and then I clamp it at the beginning. The beginning at the end. I then go ahead and take my needle nose plier, and I find out, because you can see, you could see that hole right there. You could see, right? We want this flat. So clamping it down even more with my needle nose. Now it's flat, flat, flat. Flat, flat, flat. And then I'm gonna secure these. Now I'm gonna put my bow on because that's what's gonna cover up the clamps. So I put my bow there, I wrap it around. Now look still, look how thin this is, right? So you're not dealing with this huge amount of stems and wire. It's very thin, it's very light, easy to work with, easy to clamp. What I'm doing right now is hiding that silver and then coming down to my stems. So I am going to fluff my bow. There's your corsage. What I do with the remaining stem, I twist it back. I usually do it with like a pen or a pencil. Sorry. Pen, twist it up. So it's like a curly cue. Kind of get it out of the way, but it's a pretty finished you know, I don't like there to be a jagged edge of wire sticking out. So if you were to just cut it off at a blunt cut, cut oh my gosh, if you were going to, that's so funny. If you were going to cut it off at a blunt cut, oh, I'm sorry, um, it would hurt. They would, there'd be wire sticking out. So I always twirl things back up. Okay. The tighter you clamp, it's not going to move. 
it, there there's a little movement but it hardly is i mean this thing is so comfortable it is not moving you see what i mean i can move my hand you could also wear it this way if you wanted to so there you have it wire and taping 101 people